But we're back with the quarry! Previously! If I go to continue, would it tell us where we left? Player. Thank you for the sub, Prinny! Thank you! Wait, let me pause real quick. So, where we left off, we're, we're playing as camp counselors on Hackett... Hackett Camp, or whatever the fuck. And... It was the last day of camp. <laughs> it was the last day of camp, and they were set to go home. Or well, the kids are gone, and the council is okay. about to leave. And one of the guys, he's like, Hmm... I really like this girl, Emma. She dumped me. I'm so sad. If only I could stay one more day at camp to make her like me again. So he deliberately sabotages the car. He takes out a car, car piece so they couldn't leave. And they, they all ended up st having to stay. And the camp headman, David Arquette, he, he flips his shit and he's like, What the fuck? You all need to be gone! Oh my god, oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And then he's like, Okay, you guys, stay indoors. Don't go outside. Stay inside and I'll be back tomorrow. Don't go outside. Lock the doors. Just stay in. So then he, then he fucks off. And then, as teenagers do, they're like, Let's have a party! Let's have a bonfire! Blue, 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 blue! <laughs> they go outside, exactly. So they go outside, and then it's hunting season as well, so they, there's these two creepy men, and they're like covering themselves in blood and spying on the kids, and they were like spying on them, like playing truth or dare around the bonfire, and one of them was like, fuck this shit, why the fuck am I watching this and left? And then two other kids went off into the woods, and then something came out of nowhere. It was a monster, and he chased us. And then he and they, the monster, had the kid named. What have I list of names? No. Uh, what was his name? Nick. After they kissed, and and then I was like, I gotta go save him. But then the girl ran away instead, and she climbed a tree. Hi, Carl. Thank you for the sub. Welcome in. Thank you for the three months in a row. <laughs> so that happened and then I want to say his name is Josh so he went off as well they split off too with this girl Emma on the screen and they were like let's take our clothes off and go go jump in the lake but then there was a dead body in the lake and so he freaked out and he got out of the lake and left Emma there <laughs> and he ran all the way home <laughs> and that's where we're at <laughs> there's a monster on the loose so now we're, we're back with Emma at the island, and she's been st left on her own. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Charlie. Thank you for the gifted sub. Ah, I've got a hype train. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> thank you. Emma, I, I try to make Emma very sarky as well because I don't like the other guy that likes her. I think he's a dickhead. <laughs> so I don't want them to get together. Hype train! Hype train! Oh no. Thank you, Prinny. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you, Charlie, for the 25 bits. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> For you. Okay. We've got some, <laughs> and it's well, this, riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. I'll let you decide. I will kill someone on purpose just for you guys. Okay. Just give me a name and I'll do it. And it was I'll here. get them killed. Killed, I promise. Just tell me the name. This brave young soul found and I'll herself. end their lives. Okay, full disclosure. I train, hi train, hi train. Strange, tiny little island, all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, 
There's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Oh, my brain just clicked, by the way. I'm sorry, but my brain just it's clicked. I was like, why is Charlie saying Not I'm Emma? Uh, no, I but know now. I my brain clicked. It was so slow. I, I understand what you meant. I understand now. <laughs> you know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Oh, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Oh, okay. So we're in our underwear because we went swimming in the lake, but then the guy we were they were we were in with they just left. Uh, is it these things? Let me fix it. Thank you. Let me fix. Let me try and fix it. I can't hear it, so I wouldn't know. Let me fix it real quick. Uh -oh. Sometimes it does that. Wait, let me put monitor on as well so I can hear. Second. Turn output. Okay. That seems fine to me. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Yeah, if it if that ever happened, just let me know and I'll fix it. It happens. It, it, I haven't figured out how to fix it yet, but I'll leave it for now. If it, if it happens again, just let me know. Also. I didn't ask, how are you Carl and Twinny and Sam and everybody? I hope you're all having a good day. What's that? And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. So awkward. <laughs> okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just... Is what it is. I think I made my point. Oh, you're very tired. I mean, I hope it's, it has nothing to do with the fact that you up until like six o'clock in the morning playing Fortnite. <laughs> Wonder what? How did that happen? How did that happen, Pretty? Let's see. Ah. Uh, no prizes for guessing what. I hope tomorrow these is a good day are. for you. I have. I have until I Saturday off now. A little too all natural for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the facial expressions in this. It's a lot better than the older games. Let's see. What are you having for dinner? Chicken nuggets. Chicken chicken nuggets. Where are my clothes? Why where are my clothes? Did I where did I leave them? There's the toilet. Did I put my clothes? Is it down there? Yay! Chicken nuggies! Is it over there? Oh, there's no clothes down there. There? Oh, I don't see any clothes. I had, I had baked beans today with waffles and fish fingers. It was a good time. Hype train! You all got your emote! I hope you enjoy your emotes. Oh, up there? So this <laughs> island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Choo choo! Chugga 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 choo choo! I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. It's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why 
Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> she mad. Oh, love. The metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about I recognize her life? face. I've seen her in other movies, I but I don't remember her name. This isn't live. The choice is up to me. Okay. Shall we take the high road and forget about this guy? Because okay, he's a dickhead. A world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway's radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Let's go. Hello? Has anybody seen where I put my clothes? Cause I don't seem to remember. Oh. Where someone's gonna be in there. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now. Just absolutely going for it. Um, Nick might be dead. He might be dying. So, Nick and Abby, they went off into the woods. They did a little kissy kiss. And then a monster popped out and, and attacked Nick. And then Abby ran away. Car keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those. I'm sorry. Police car keys. North Kill Police Department. But what are they doing all the way out here oh, at Hackett's Quarry? No idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. It's and going. here we are, as promised. One extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the sum Something's of the experience happen. right there, and oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Oh. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. 
Snoop! 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 That's your back. Fuck that trap door. <laughs> and you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Thank you. I appreciate that. The fact that in every scene, well, this whole night has a full moon and there's a monster makes me think werewolves. Mm. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. Do you really want to go up there, lady? Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Taser! Oh my god. Get out of here. <laughs> 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 oh, ha, ha. Don't fall, don't fall, What kind of monster is that, though? It does look very scary. Does look werewolfy. Bye. <laughs> ah! I do appreciate her action so far. <laughs> Detect that a little bit. Is she hurt? I do. I do like that she took a photo. Wait, I want to see the photo evidence. <laughs> Where's my photo? <laughs> Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry, I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, toolboxes aren't that heavy. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I mean, if anything, she should sit on top horse, of it. But maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> oh, we got another card. You got the magneton! Magnemite! This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. So far, Charlie's gotten okay, every single me. Pokemon she tried to get. <laughs> you and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> come on, let's go call for backup. 
pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Grandma? Where are you going? I I I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. That's good news. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who's 911? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but like what? Should I ask for like police ambulance? Oh yeah, I did. Huh. I didn't know. Wait. So it's covered by the snow, but usually there would be like little options underneath where the snow is. I have two choices, and I picked that's good news. The other option was paranoid. You don't know that. Like, right now, wait. Ah. Call the police! Cops. With guns, we need a lot of backup out here. So, they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there, or how smart they are, so it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now and we really need backup yeah yeah that's that's good <laughs> okay just say it's a bear attack it's, it's not that hard what's wrong dead no, that wasn't dead what do you mean it was dead Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. He's lying! Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Yeah, you could just be like, help, okay, uh, so my friend was attacked. No like, they really hurt. No can can you send no someone? Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Why? Only temporary. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why uh, does everyone blame everything on got bears? Got that okay. So for the sake Get of argument, the electric box what if again? that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power? What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. I think it's a werewolf. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaked. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. So my theory right now is 
the the monster is Hackett's brother because there was a photo of two kids and at the start where the two counselors got killed I think uh, they well, the lady counselor went to the camp's basement and she looked through the doors and there was someone in there they were locked in and that was the the monster and then it got out because she opened the door so maybe Hackett locked them in there because they were turning into a monster or something and it's a full moon too oh my god yeah we should probably leave that with Caitlyn Does she need it? Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds. <laughs> okay, sure, but that's because I really want. Like I have just no recollection of this. Man. All right. Will I give the gun? I'll do it. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. All right. Am I interrupted something? Yes, you are. We're having a very intimate, private conversation right now. We are flatting. Thinly veiled innuendos. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Packet's Quarry Island. We're back with Emma. I just want to know if she got hurt. She got scratched, I think. Yeah. Oh, we're doing a zip line. Quietly. Oh, did I fuck up? I fucked up! Behind you, behind you, behind you. Go, 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 go. Ah! The fuck is that? <laughs> you may never find Peter Weiss peeking out the window <laughs> with a tongue hanging out. <laughs> okay, she, she got out there. She's fine. Tasers out. She was very ballsy though. I'm proud of her. Grandma! Oh, good to see you. Hi, Grandma! Good to see you. A time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power 
tapping into a tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Yes, please. Huh? What's wrong with him? His eyes look black. So it's goodbye again. Stick with I it, Penny. You're doing this. good. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Cook that food. Cook it, cook it, cook it. Chapter 4. Chapter 5. White noise. It's Phil Dunphy's daughter, everybody. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. I can't wait for her dad to How come pick feeling? her up from camp. Then we'll have the Phil Dunphy cameo we all, we all deserve. How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy you're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. Alright, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... The... Oh, uh, they found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Uh oh. Don't speak up. Be quiet. Yeah, it's Brenda. It's Brenda Song. Said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. Oh, thank you. Thank you for popping in, Carl. I really appreciate that. Thank you for helping helping me with my audio issues. I hope I hope you have a good day. See you later, friend. But yeah, if anybody notices the audio desyncing, let me know and I'll fix it right away. I bet it's the, the hunter people, the hunter guys. I bet they're here. Is Santa? Is Santa gonna come down the fireplace? <laughs> they don't call him Sandy Claus for nothing. I told you. I told you it was a hunter guy. Christmas. No. No. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh fuck. I trust the hunters a little bit, maybe. I think they're on our side. Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and... I lost the gun though, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... I kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? D are you dumb? Hey. <laughs> Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen, though. Uh, um... I you can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> Just say it! What is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Hide. Quick. Okay. Thank you for locking, Prinny. Why is this chest so fucking big? Is he gonna come back? No. So the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um uh, it, you know, It's I mean, not it good that I lost the gun though. But nobody I did fuck that up. Camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything uh -oh. and you know, nowadays Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music. Uh, oh, it's um, here. Yeah, I mean, I like music, but. I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Oh. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you, you don't really seem like a I'll see. science guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um, um my my friend, oh, we're in trouble. I think you need I'm, to I'm arm yourself. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here I um. You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass. 
Uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh, no? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé villain. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé villain? <laughs> No, nah, yeah, like, you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Ah, uh, well, they're flirting. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's, that makes a lot of sense. Let's go. Coming yet? I wanna go over here. Follow me. Nothing here. We're just checking the door. I can't see. Ugh. Okay. Yes, it's on the other end, right there. There was a tape recorder I left. They're still here. One of these houses. You didn't pick it up. Ah! Uh oh. We're in Dango. My friend. You need to get out of here. See that? Do you see that? What's that? Something climbed on top. All good? Uh, give me a minute. All right. Huh. That. Oh, I saw Chloe eyes, but my brain might have made it up. Okay, we're okay. I'll sit down. Um, we're not very safe right now, though. All good. This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> okay, I'll try and take the wrench. So, I'll take uh, it. How far does it go? I need more weaponry. I'm scared. Well, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So, I think the range is about. A mile. 
How do you know this stuff? How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Oh, that's really well, cool. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. I think stuff like that yeah. is really cool. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere. Oh, that's so stupid. And there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please... Uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. <laughs> yeah, do good. Is that sweet. Swarm of uh, what bears? does he do on the radio? What kind yeah. of stuff do you do with it? Heard of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. But... Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. What do you see? Uh oh, 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 oh. Don't, don't. You see, Jill? Check it. Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Why is he ignoring it? Now. Holy shit! They're talking about us. Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. Oh, they're the hunters, right? They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, Wait. Talk to the other wicked friends. Oh, that's so cool. Ah. Let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find. That sounds so much fun. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Why didn't you tell me there was something out there? <laughs> I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Lock the door, friend. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? That's not a bear. Bears can jump like that. I like how he just looked outside the window and was like, hmm, and then was like, ah, oh, forever. I didn't know what it was. 
Pizza in sight. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Coming up the path. Oh shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Hummy! Uh, oh, fuck no! Oh shit. Pull out the warning! Hummy! Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get in get, uh, get into a cabin now. Go! Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Fucking get inside. <laughs> what now? Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it all? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Do it. Do it. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um, I hope it works. Come on. Do we know it's where almost... it is? Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Something missing. I do. What's missing? Relax. It's fine. Oh crap! I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go quickly. <laughs> if you don't know anything. It's okay, I did this in The Walking Dead. I have experience in this get life. Water, get the water, get the water. What? Get the water. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on it. You don't need just pressure, you need to fucking seal that. What do I do, what do I do? The button, the button. Wouldn't he be going into shock? There we go. We worked. We lost a hand. Fucking work. Why is he smiling? You lost your fucking hand! Oh, we blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, how, are you, how, how are you so okay right now? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. 
Take my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, uh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> like, oh, man. Why did you do that? Oh, okay. Is it safe? I don't know. That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. Is anyone gonna say anything what the about hell the hat? Oh my god! Go. Tell me what happened. Oh, um. I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not. Um. But it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit! Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Oh shit. Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? I want to know who that guy is. The one that got his hand chopped off. It makes me think of the... Like Cole and Dylan Sprouse. But it wouldn't be them. Ah oh, shit Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! It's in the water. Wait. Do we know who it is? Like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. Got the hermit. Here we have the hermit. Grandma! With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection too. Perhaps given some thought. The hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. But that... Ghost? I want to show you more. Would that be alright? If you want to, Grandma. I mean, nothing you've shown me is very helpful to me. I mean, it's like glimpses, but I don't know what to do with it. Oh. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Bye, Grandma. I love you. Chapter 6 Prayers by Night Hackett Woods Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Oh, <gasps> Grandma's here! Man! God, this it's the up. hack of Hackett, Hackett Quarry! Hey, Emma, is that you? Be careful. Be 
careful of a bear trap. So... Okay. Guess we go this way. Will I ever put my clothes back on? I don't like this guy. Oh! Wait, Emma went this way, right? Kind of? What's that? Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. Yeesh! Bodezell. Fucking hell. Camera? Memory card? <laughs> Nicky bakey lemon cakey. Where are you gonna pull it? <laughs> oh, he's gonna pull it in his in his underwear with the car piece that we stole. See, we put everything down in our boxes. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's putting everything in his boxes. Down. <laughs> I like to imagine he tucked it safely between his butt cheeks and he's just like clenching it tightly. <laughs> clenching it. He's clenching right now to keep it safe. Jesus Christ! Oh. I'm oh delighted! No, I, am I glad to see you? <laughs> <laughs> well done, Emma. Christ. Well done. You left me back there, you asshole! Yeah, you fucking dickhead! Emma, come on! What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah! Me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. <laughs> that's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. That fucking thing bit me, dude. Really need Caitlin. That's a bite. I. It bit you with that little scratch. Uh oh. Oh. I uh. It was bigger. Could have uh -oh. sworn it was much bigger before. Is she infected? I think she's infected. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Yeah, you fucking bet. So be right, baby. Sorry. You're right. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. 
Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously, I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things, like plural. Wait, really? <sighs> I came out looking for you after I left you stranded on your own. Be thankful. Run! Here? <laughs> He's like, sorry, bye. This fucking dickhead. Every, every fucking time. Um. The fuck? What's that? What's that? Do bear traps. Bear traps! Careful! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 You need to pull the pin out. Oh, fuck. I know how bear traps work. You gotta pull the pin out to release it. Oh, shit. Oh. Alright, who's dead? Who's she? Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. <gasps> Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Uh oh. Intervene. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. He's infected. Nick, what are you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Oh, Nick, what the hell? Watch out! I said get off! Okay. Nick and Emma are both infected. Nick? <laughs> Nick, you stinky. I Don't trust him, dog. <laughs> Something's wrong. What did I do? Huh? I... I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> I don't want Emma to be infected. I like Emma. Be. Shh. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving! 
Thanks so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos. Whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, I got two photos. Phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? He looks like shit right now. Hey. Alex Star. So dark. I have my lights on him. I think it makes it it's making it a little hard, a little bit harder for me to see. I should turn my lights off because it's reflecting on my screen. Should I? What's that? I wonder where Caleb is. Campus photo. Foster uh. check, thank you. I, I said this I'm sitting so up, I promise. Twelve hours ago. Let's put join. <laughs> I'm sitting up, I promise. I promise I'm sitting up, I promise. I'm sorry, I promise. I am a pawn no, though. <laughs> not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like uh he was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <laughs> I think Abby would beg to differ. <laughs> Point. It isn't you love me! I'm the pawn! Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. So we know that monster is infecting them and is scared of water. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Like me. Nick. Please just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a oh, such a... such what? Such a cop out answer. Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. It's being so creepy. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? What the fuck? Nick, I do like you. No, no, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? 
Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God. I shouldn't have had a pick up. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor oh, stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. This this isn't you. Ah! <gasps> Everything okay? Holy shit. Uh oh. He's, he's dangerous. Should I have shot him? <laughs> Oops. I guess Phil Dunphy will never see his daughter again. 23.52 Emma, Hackett's quarry, fire pit. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry, GPG. I'm sorry. I froze. I didn't know if I should kill him. I was, I, was, I didn't know. It's too late now! She's dead! <laughs> She's dead! There's no going back! <sighs> okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and... There were That's monsters. Fun. I would go... Hi, GPG, by the way. Hope you're having a good day. To the lodge. Emma is infected too. So, we know what's gonna happen. Hmm. Ryan's stories again. <laughs> I had no idea kids were going to out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. Hi, Mom. <sighs> At home. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Camp is so fun. Mr. Hackett is teaching us so much about nature and being safe in the woods. My friend Josh said he saw a ghost. I think he is lying just to scare me, but I drew a picture of her anyway. She looks quite angry, but I think sometimes when people are angry, they are just sad instead. We're going sailing on the lake tomorrow. I can't wait. Love from Rowan. I know GBG wanted to pelt, with me, pelt me with snowballs for that, <laughs> for getting Abby killed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. I'm sorry, I should have shot him. I know. I would just. I didn't know. I didn't know he was gonna turn right away. I thought maybe I had. I could. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't know what was gonna happen. <laughs> it 
Why am I walking towards this wall? Well done, B! <laughs> well, we still have a head. We, we, <laughs> we still we could give the Phil Abby's head. A head's okay. You just put it on a stick and and and, and you just like make a little sock puppet kind of thing out of her. It'll be okay. We won't tell, be able to tell the difference. Where am I going? So I think that way. What's this way? Nothing there. There. Oh, the stairs. <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> Wait, I, I saw that just now. Thank you for the gift, uh, GBG. GBG just sent me Final Fantasy IX. I promise I'll play it. I promise I'll play it. I played... I only played the first 10 minutes when I was little. Where you have to, like... The... When you have to do the performance stuff. But thank you! Thank you, GBG! That's very kind of you. Everyone's being so nice today. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've been meaning to play it for the longest time. I've been meaning to. But I just... It's like, stuff like that is a big commitment. And, like, sometimes I'm just like... I can't... I, I don't wanna... I'm not in the mood for it, kind of thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know, I don't know which one is Beatrix, but I'll play it soon and I'll let you know what I think. I think my favourite one right now, based on the ones I have played, is 10. I love 10. Like even though I played that when I was little too, the ending even if I just watch it on YouTube, it makes me so emotional. It's so sad. Why would the monster go after Emma, by the way? Because she's already infected. She's not a threat. She's gonna be one of them! Uh oh. <gasps> okay, so there's two of them at least now. No, don't do that. It cuts you and you know what. They caught one. Come on! I've never done this before, Paul. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the team, GPG. Oh no. There's two of them. Need one. Safe. That is scare me though. <laughs> Abby, Ryan. Okay, it bit her foot. I'm sorry, 
you felt happy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have shot him. There, are you safe? <laughs> All right, midnight with Ryan at the pool house. Hi, Pete, welcome in. I hope you had a good Christmas. How are you doing? <laughs> Look, we can put Abby together again, okay? I mean, what's a little. A little solar tape can't do. <laughs> Hopeful. This is really bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, let's not, um. You know, uh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> we killed <laughs> Abby. GPT is very sad that I killed his favorite character. <laughs> we don't even know what's out there. But my Christmas was great. I had a very cozy time. Oh shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who is it? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? Bender's still okay. Bender's My still alive. Name is Laura Kearney. <gasps> Don't. Laura! Don't let me in. It's not safe. She's the, the, oh, yeah, the counselor at the start. With a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you. Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Let her in. I don't trust her, but we'll let okay. her in. I'm gonna open the door. Okay, so Slowly. so Just far, Brenda's up, okay? dead. No, not Brenda. Sorry. Uh, Abby's dead. Nick is a monster. Emma's bitten, infected, and she might turn into a monster very soon. And that's where we're at. Oh, and Dylan lost his Here hand because he got bit again. too. Just you, me. Hi, Grandma. Also, oh, Laura looks like she's been through some shit. She lost her eyes since the start. Did you look hard enough? These cards aren't just trinkets. You should know this by now. They they can help you. I can help you. Off you go then. Top top. One down. Remember. Grandma's so <laughs> pushy. Exciting. What if I don't want to find the dumb dumb cards? We're all monsters inside this too. We're all monsters waiting to get out. Just like Nick. Chapter 7, The Past so, Behind Us. Uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Flashback? Laura, June 25th. This is after she got injected by the policeman. <laughs> um, it was nervous laughter. I, I promise I laugh when I'm nervous, okay? The only person I was laughing at was Emma because she was so funny when she was doing stuff. And I want the other guy to die. I do want him to die. I think he's a dickhead and he put everyone in danger. <laughs> Is he dead? Don't call out. Uh 
Uh oh, he knows. This is gonna get a little messy. The fuck? What's happening? Oh, he turned. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. <laughs> Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling Why not? And what is your relationship? Max Brinley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this <gasps> works. It's a bunny! Uh, uh, please, uh, please. Wait, please. Uh, please, catch the bunny. Catch the bunny. Catch the bunny. Catch the bunny. I might be out of Pokeballs. I'm fine. I have to buy some Pokeballs, though. Beans, beans, wonderful beans. The more you eat, the more you talk. Beans, beans. I did have beans today. They were lovely. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Ah. Uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Sheriff. Okay, Sheriff. <laughs> it's my bunny! Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the oh. fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? I don't trust him. <laughs> stop fucking around! Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Break right now! I want the curry beans, to be honest. I want to try them. What? Don't lash out. Let's go. Hey. He's hey, infected. You asshole! What the, what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Max! 
Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of all I want the dino up, nuggets. More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. That was I mean, you, what darling. What the fuck happened? <laughs> yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher, the blade? Three hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Packet's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and. Uh oh, he's coming back! To be honest, though, at the start, if it, if it was for realsies. I wouldn't go to the motel. He's so creepy and scary. I'd probably get murdered. Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I don't need your permission. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> Yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Exactly. Your turn. Please escort. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey. Hey. Let's get the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey. Stop struggling. Yeah, stop struggling. Come down, Max. Max. Calm down. You're only making it worse. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in Hey, I wanna know how did Laura lose her eyeball? What's gonna happen? Let's see. Ah, uh, well, what's over here? While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Mm. That is true, he was resisting arrest. What's this? A secret brick. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Like that. Conven conveniently left out here in a police cell. That could work. That could be used as a weapon. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Yes. Hello? Thinking about 
power actually, how could he eat? So what you... <laughs> I mean, I think he could still resist. Maybe. That was quick. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Yeah! Sure. Your pain's on toast! The second you get out. What's that supposed to mean? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Is that a threat? He's threatening me. I need my what lawyer. What's that supposed to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in <laughs> here. Hey! Come back! Fuck! Pinky <laughs> Bonky. Yeah. Son of a pinky bonky! I'm gonna say that from now on. Son of a pinky bonky. Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah, yeah. because you're infected. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. <laughs> Rude. Rude. <laughs> Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? <laughs> Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some... kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? <laughs> You're just so confused. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly How acting come? like a what, typical what would the difference be? but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? Jack Hackett. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. Y you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? He's a monster! He's Jack Hackey! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... um... What? He seems crazy enough I'm to do it. You, you can tell from the look in his I saw eyes. The letter, Max. What are you talking about? 
The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? Yeah, I did. I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. I think the oh, policeman, yeah. sheriff man, is aware of the situation. So that's why he was trying to deter us say? from going to the camp, but we went. I'm sorry, Max. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Max appreciates my symphony. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. What was that brick that I took out? Something you need in there? to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Oh, lass. Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Oh, lass. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah. That was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? He is a real sheriff, man. Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I do think do exclamation mark pokey stop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody Yay! there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That Max was really fucked up too. Like I remember the steps and a smell. Of <laughs> Get and that last last. Get that last last. Collar with the name Ian on it. Ian. Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big, like person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about you got that? It. Is, Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know. Rebels. Full moon. Rebels. Yeah. What if? Uh Okay. No. This is what I said too. Stop. I said I'm werewolves. Just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Makes sense. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <sighs> werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What 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 what's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you you got anything better? I mean like Zombies, Zombie werewolf aliens, from outer space. I'm hopping Dracula's. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. I like how Dylan's just so fucking amused. Would it really be so crazy with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick, with the thing on the roof? Okay, we really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. <laughs> you told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced cleave limb from torso with great pain.
paste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. <laughs> There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think Laura's a badass that. now. Look at her with the eye patch and scars. She's been through some shit. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over ah! and over again. And Thank again. you for the bits, Pete. And Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Thank you. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. That's super sweet, thank you. Everybody's so nice today, thank you, everybody. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. <laughs> You're all nice. You're all you nice. Always. That. Forever. It's been weeks, so... You know, let me know if you have one. But I mean, That's it's really extra generous helpful, today. Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when... I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. I Maybe think the policeman sheriff is really waiting for the next full moon. We won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Get on okay, his good side. So, let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. He's waiting for the next full moon, I think. Optimistic. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. And he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? T-Money? Fuck off. Why? <laughs> leave, him there, leave him in there forever for that. You. You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? <laughs> I can think of seven. Right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. 
Oh. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. He still told me! You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Full moon's in a few days, right? What What then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said, take your fucking clothes uh -oh. off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! He's doing you a favor. If you can't, your clothes will get bloody. Then what clothes do you have? Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Ask next time, then, dude. Jeez. <laughs> Don't get too close. G, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm hmm. Just wrapping things up here. I call for help. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station. Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. <laughs> like you're fucking dumb. Hey, you can't just leave me here. Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. Bye. You can't leave me here! Yes, I can. Oh, okay, understandable, so I have a good day. Uh oh. He's t you can see it in his face. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I. I don't feel so good. Not good, like how? I don't know, just... Bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Yeah, let me observe! Open your eyes! Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? <sighs> you don't have to be so rude about it. Max? Max? Hey, what's going on? You can explode. Max. Wait, wasn't she handcuffed though?
<laughs> she should have kept an eye on it. She shouldn't have lost it. So much for depth perception. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, I see, I see. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. I left a big mess. I like a shower. Oh, you ran out again. <laughs> you ran out again. If you go to the about me thing, there should be a pop out extension. I, I put there and if you go to that and click on the bag icon, you can click shop and buy Pokeballs there and it will show you how much money you have. That's what I do. What are you hiding, Travis? Cease and desist about the podcast. <gasps> we'll look at the other door real quick. It's over there. It's up there. Let's go up here. to rest soon. Got it! Alright! You got the ice cream! Ice cream, chillin, chillin. Ice cream, chillin. Ice cream, chillin, chillin. Ice cream, chillin. Ice cream. Wait, it's a badge mold? Angel was wearing this cap you doing too well. Chart. Oh, it's chart. Fire damage. Chilling like a villain. Wah, wah, wah. Offices. Office is so scuffed. I can't work in these conditions. Let's get out. Else, yeah. That's what he used on me. This must be what he used to knock me out. Take one. I can hide this in myself. Oh. I need to lie oh. down. 
Let me check the exit door. That would be a good place to look, right? There? <gasps> Chariot. I got a card! I want to look at that cease and desist thing I got. What was that? Uh, evidence? This. Letter instructing those behind a bizarre yet bona fide podcast to stop investigating Hackett's quarry. Ah, uh, Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. There's a harem scarum thing. Computer. You have a photo face down too. What's that photo? Hello? That was a bit worrying. T hack it. Is a slap in the face. You only have three guesses. Find his birthday. When's your birthday, Mister? I'll look around for it. Sasha, dig, weed, Armin, Perla. Big show goes up in flames. I say. Last scene. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. Stop trying to go to sleep. We're busy right now. There's so much we have to do. We need to find a password. What's in here? Locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping or. I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Nope. Not going back. Go. Is there any other doors? That was the bath. That one's locked. Let's look upstairs again. Maybe I missed something. Oh, I didn't go in here. I, I missed the door. I'm, I'm, I'm a dumb and dumb. A dumb dumb. What that? Birthday card? 56. Mama's boy. 56. That means he was born in 1965. Else? 
go around. Let's try that here then. Let's just try it 56. I'm probably still missing it because I only got the year. It has come to my attention that you recently released an episode of your podcast that features the town of Northkill and, more specifically, Hackett's Quarry. If I am to understand the context correctly, said episode investigates the mystery of a ghost in the woods, though the very idea of this is completely preposterous, and, as I'm sure you're aware, no such thing exists. Just save scum. <laughs> uh, I am writing to tell you that the proprietors of Hackett's Quarry have expressed concerns that such unsavory stories could be detrimental to their various business avenues, including Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, which prides itself on being a safe, fun environment for children from all over the country. It is with this in mind that I ask you to take down this episode of your podcast and refrain from releasing any further unsolicited publicity around Hackett's Quarry. The proprietors of said land would not be against seeking legal action if you do not comply with their requests. Please accept this letter as a formal request, with the benefit of both parties in mind. Respectfully yours, Travis Hackett. So we know his name, Travis. I can guess it. There's only 300 and there's only so many days that I can do and so many months. It'll be fine. I'll get there eventually. Okay. I did not. But no day or month. I know, I know, I know. I'll go do it. A day or month. You shut up in there. Keep the racket down! We're trying to sleep! And find a birthday! The pile of files? No? Let's have another look, look around. Maybe he'll have something like, Hi, it's my birthday! On this day today, 29 years ago. Like over here, this calendar. Full moon and my birthday. 
7th July. Let's go! Do a little power walk. Walk with purpose now. Oh. Uh, the ship, we've got to shut it down. Can you handle it for me, Chris? Chris Hackett. Weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators? Specter sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. Dizzy? Grandma! Oh. Uh oh. Grandma's coming for us. We've got to get out of here. Grandma's coming! Grandma? Grandma! Look, Grandma. I know we've had our ups and downs. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be like this, Grandma. We can get along okay, Grandma. I'm just gonna go in my cell, Grandma. I'm gonna look at the brick. Oh, it's a hiding place for me. Let's keep looking. Oh, I thought I was just gonna stay sit on my bed and look. I didn't want to get up. Let's go to bed. <laughs> you want to tell me what happened? What happened to you? Ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? 
I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. I hit it. I have nothing. I hit it. Happy? Brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. Day 29. We've been in there for almost a month now. Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean... It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know... Just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh... What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family, we didn't mean to hurt anybody. Oh. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. So the one, like I, I guessed, the one in the We're basement this thing once and for at all. the camp is their family. It's a hackett. We? Yeah. So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like... Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just... ...hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. Oh, I'm not good at tests. I get very nervous. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, Armed with silver and the first. 
Okay, Charlie, I'm about to finish as soon as this chapter ends anyway. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the bits. I love you. I hope you have a good night. And if you're going to work tomorrow, I, have you, I hope you have a good day tomorrow. I love you. Good night. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Don't take the gun. Just read. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? <laughs> That's true. I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be full moon. Oh. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. Only bites. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. Oh. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another one. Hi, Benny. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for the raid. Spotify is the best. Oh, <laughs> I'll look after the stream. Welcome in, everybody. I'm Pet. And, and today we're playing The Quarry. We're going to be ending very soon, though. But thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? What did you do today? I didn't I didn't catch what you were, what you were playing today. I hope you're all having a good evening. So we're a couple chapters into this game and it's a horror game called The Quarry and 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 we we've been locked in prison for almost a month. We got kidnapped by a sheriff and he's locked us up in prison and and I lost my eyeball as you can see. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look. Take some time to think about all this. Also, for the new people coming in, I will let you know we have a movie night coming up. On my Discord, on Saturday, we have... A themed movie night for New Year's Eve and it's gonna be based around new beginnings I'll put the movies up soon if anyone wants to join in or vote you're more than welcome to come join I'll be back in the morning he trusts me now soon enough I want to see what he showed him Spoke like gone today. Oh. <laughs> they date games. I don't that think I'd believe fun. a word he just said if I hadn't. What games did but you I get to? Seen that. I believe him. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about 
The werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's fuck had his him. chance to fix this. Ah. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it. Thank you for the follow, cat. Thank you. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good evening. On our own. Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. Uh oh. What I did to your eye. Oh, so that's what he showed him. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. Void Blaster, Just King, Dicey Dungeon, Beat Blast, Rogue Legacy 2. I haven't played any of those. Empathetic. I want the Pokemon! It wasn't you. Puh! Puh! I know it wasn't you. I know. Pokeball, go! But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. So, there's a chance we could save Nick, but he's already killed Abby. <laughs> Uh-oh. Chris, hack it. Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking bit one of them, Chris. What am I supposed to do? <gasps> Chris! What was that? Chris is infected! Chris is the werewolf! You shot me. I'm telling mom. I'm <laughs> telling mom. What's your plan? Can't keep him here forever. So he was in the basement. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Were those know. hikers? That, that, that fucking... Journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to So that's why he left, because he couldn't be there, because he's a werewolf too. I was all, I was like, why the fuck is he leaving the kids there? Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. no. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... So that's Holy why she guess. went to the camp two months later. I because mean, she's hunting Chris. Thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then kill Chris. Kill him. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Moida. Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun. And kill Chris Hackett. Marta! 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 Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura. Help me! Oh no! Laura, are you okay? God damn it. Oh, she's pretending to be How's infected. Laura? Oh, are you popping out, Kat? Thank you for popping in. Thank you for coming in with the raid and thank you for the follow. 
I'll see you later. <gasps> Get him! <laughs> see how you like it, buddy. See how you like it. Of him. But we can't let out the boyfriend. I have to leave him there. He's infected. You can't let him out. You have to leave him there. Don't let him out. Don't do it. Don't do it. You stop that. I'm starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> We should go before he wakes yeah. up. Go back in there. Don't let him out. No, don't let him out. Put him back. We should grab our stuff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Oh, so the sister that we... I thought I heard someone. The daughter... We found lying in a pool. She was one of them and that's why she took her, took her out. Because the whole family is werewolves based on what Travis said. It's coming from behind that door. That's what I had on the phone as well. Hello? There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> You're not free. You're a werewolf. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. And I made my way here to camp. Left How bad did your boys go? Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. So she left him on the island where Emma got bit. At the same time. Wait. In the island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, oh pretty blunt. <laughs> All I know is I have to do this. 
I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... Heck, it's Chloe, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Max? <gasps> Hello? In Hackathon? So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. It was, it was a girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? Show it! He tried. Got away. I need to end this. <laughs> oh no. We don't have much time. Who's that? Hello? <laughs> Are you the Hackett mother? Oh. Ah! She's the insidious lady! So new Smell good, don't I? Go on. Take a bow. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. <laughs> Jacob. I'll call the police! Let me go! Alright? Let me go! Or I'll call the fucking cops! Uh. <laughs> are they Hackett's too? Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> that was funny. That's... Oh, fuck. 
Are they all the Hackett family? Bobby. That's what Travis said. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Hi, Chris. That's Chris, oh, I bet. Finished a chapter. Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Okay, Grandma. Anyway, I believe anything you again. say. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Okay, Grandma. So Dylan is in danger. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Chapter seven complete. Chapter eight: The Valley of the Beast. Where is Where is Chris Hackett? Who knows? Find out next time on the quarry That we'll finish here for today. And we I don't wanna make clear plans, but probably I will play tomorrow at seven again. But thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it and and thank you for all the bits and the subs and the gift from GBG and and everyone. Thank you. Pretty, Charlie, Pete, um Carl and 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 Sam and GBG. Thank you all. You've been super kind today. But let's see if I can wait out. And I hope you all have a good night. And I appreciate all of you today. Thank you so much. Let me see if there's anybody about.